Hi friend, welcome to our new video. Have you planned for everyday schedule for exercise to relieve stress? While exercise might provide a fast fix for those who are nervous or tense, continuing to a regular exercise regimen can assist to alleviate symptoms in the long run. Doctors advise persons suffering from chronic stress, sadness, or anxiety to spend a significant amount of time in the gym. If you can't or don't want to join a gym or fitness center, don't panic, there are plenty of activities you can do from the comfort of your own home. You should combine a variety of cardiovascular and weight training routines for the best physical and mental effects. This could include activities like push-ups, squats, lunges, sit-ups, crunches, and stretches, as well as walking, jogging, cycling, or swimming. Combining these two types of activities will boost your mental health by releasing feel-good chemicals into your brain, as well as provide you with a stronger and healthier physique. Exercise as Mental Health Benefits Regular exercise has a number of mental health advantages. Physical activity not only releases endorphins into your brain, making you feel happier, calmer, and allowing you to clear your thoughts, but it can also aid you in a variety of other ways. Because regular exercise can improve your physical appearance, muscles that are stronger and more toned, and possibly weight reduction, it can boost your self-esteem, resulting in improved levels of self-confidence, which can have an effect on your stress levels. Additionally, exercise is critical for maintaining good physical health. Regular exercise has been shown in studies to help prevent diseases like cardiovascular disease, stroke, and even some cancers. Because poor physical health can be one of the leading causes of stress, or at the very least contribute to higher levels of anxiety in stressful situations, exercising frequently can assist to reduce stress by giving us less to worry about. Regular exercise can also assist with difficulties like muscle or joint discomfort, making you feel better, stronger, and healthier in the long run. As a result, you'll feel more capable of dealing with stressful events and less concerned about your own health or dealing with pain and suffering. Getting started with physical activity. If your previous lifestyle has been more sedentary than active, don't worry, simple exercise is typically enough to help reduce stress levels. If you're starting to exercise regularly for the first time or haven't done much exercise in a long time, start slowly and gradually to allow your body to adjust to the increased activity and gradually develop your strength. Jumping from a sedentary lifestyle to a hard workout plan can cause more harm than good. So don't be discouraged if you can only perform a small amount of exercise at first, as you practice, you'll be able to improve the amount you can accomplish. Yoga for Stress Relief Yoga is one of the most effective workouts for reducing tension and anxiety. Yoga is intended to promote not only physical fitness, strength, and balance, but also mental clarity and the reduction of stressful thoughts and moods. Yoga may help you not only improve your physical fitness and strength to become healthier overall, but it can also help you strengthen your mind and feel more at peace with yourself and the world around you. Yoga is frequently linked to mindfulness meditation, which can be particularly beneficial in the treatment of stress and anxiety. Another advantage of yoga is that it is frequently practiced socially. By enrolling in a yoga class, you will not only be able to reap the physical and mental health advantages of yoga, but you will also be able to meet new people. However, you will be able to benefit from the social benefits of making new friends and receiving support, which may be quite beneficial in dealing with stress and anxiety. Stress-inducing lifestyle habits Some of the most significant stressors are unhealthy lifestyle practices. You may not realize it, but some of the practices you engage in on a regular basis may be contributing significantly to your stress levels. When you're nervous and concerned, do you put a cigarette to your mouth? Or do you use alcohol as a way to unwind? Maybe you drink more coffee than you should in a day, or you stay up late trying to figure out how to remedy whatever is causing your stress. The problem is that doing any of these things will almost always make your tension worse. Smoking Smoking and stress usually go hand in hand. When people are worried, they often go for a cigarette because they believe that breathing the smoke from the cigarette relaxes them and helps to clear their mind. The fact that smokers are addicted to nicotine can actually increase their stress levels. Stress can be a major indication of cravings when the body is devoid of nicotine. Because smoking a cigarette relieves nicotine cravings, the smoker comes to equate smoking with feeling less anxious. Smoking marijuana, on the other hand, can have the opposite impact. 
If you reside in a state where marijuana is allowed for medical or recreational purposes, you might be able to use it to relieve tension and anxiety. Alcohol Consumption When you're stressed, the problem with resorting to alcohol is that it's a depressant. Have you ever noticed that you're a happy drinker when you're feeling good before you start drinking, but you're a miserable drinker when you're feeling down? This is because alcohol tends to amplify whatever mood you were in before drinking. You might feel worse if you drink alcohol when you're anxious. Furthermore, because alcohol impairs your judgment of events, becoming drunk while stressed out may result in some unpleasant actions. As a result, it's critical to drink alcohol in moderation to assist manage your stress levels. One glass of red wine per night, for example, can be beneficial to your health, but excessive use should be avoided. Caffeine Caffeine, in moderation, can be beneficial to our health. It boosts your body's energy and speeds up your metabolism, which can be beneficial in a variety of conditions. Caffeine, on the other hand, might make you feel less energized, weary, and sluggish, which can contribute to a rise in stress levels. If you rely on many cups of coffee throughout the day to stay awake, or if you've turned to energy drinks or caffeine tablets to stay awake, you may be stressing yourself out. When your body relies on caffeine for energy, you'll suffer caffeine withdrawal symptoms when you don't have your cup of coffee, which can include elevated stress levels. It's crucial to gradually reduce your caffeine intake if you rely on it for energy. Depending on how dependent you are on caffeine, eliminating it completely could cause mild to severe withdrawal symptoms. Headaches, aches and pains, lethargy, and stress are all possible symptoms. Sleeping patterns to relieve stress. Your sleeping patterns are crucial to your mental well-being. Your stress levels are directly related to how well you sleep at night. You will feel more refreshed and have a clearer mind to take on the stresses of the day if you get enough sleep and at the right times. However, busy lives and other factors can prevent us from getting a good night's sleep. You should aim for around 6 hours of sleep per night to ensure that you are fully rested and reap as many health benefits as possible. Waking up early can also be beneficial to your health, which is why you should try to sleep no later than 12 a.m. Clearing your mind before going to bed is an important part of getting a good night's sleep. One of the most common mistakes people make nowadays is to take their technology, which is such an important part of their lives, to bed with them. If you work on your laptop in bed or check your appointments on your smartphone while lying in bed, your mind will begin to associate getting in bed with working rather than resting, which can interfere with your ability to fall asleep. Allowing yourself too little time to relax and wind down before bed can lead to problems like insomnia or feeling tired and unrefreshed in the morning. After a certain time in the evening, you should make your bedroom a tech-free zone in order to get the best sleep possible. Listening to soothing music and diffusing essential oils can help you relax and drift off to sleep. Social Customs Your social habits can also contribute to your stress levels, even if you don't realize it. The people who you spend time with and confide in can either be helpful or harmful when it comes to mental health, anxiety and stress. When you are feeling stressed out, it's important to surround yourself with people who you can trust to give you the best support. Understanding how to ask for support and who to turn to can be hugely important when dealing with increased levels of stress and anxiety. When it comes to being stressed out, it can often feel like some people know exactly which buttons to press in order to get your stress levels rising. Understanding who is contributing to your stress is vital to taking control of the situation and working on it. Sometimes, the people who cause our stress can mean little to us, for example other parents at your child's school, friends of friends, or people who work with you on the same level. On the other hand, sometimes it's harder to get away from the people who stress us out, perhaps they're your relative, or maybe your boss. In this case, it's vital to understand how they stress you out. Sometimes, talking to somebody who is causing you to feel stressed and explaining how you feel in a calm and sensitive manner can be helpful, not only will you feel better off for it, but it can also strengthen your relationship with the other person. Of course, it's important to remember that if you are going to speak to somebody in order to tell them how they contribute to your stress, you should do it in a tactful, non-accusatory manner so as not to further damage the relationship. Lifestyle Habits Which Relieve Stress So, smoking, drinking too much, not getting enough sleep, overdosing on caffeine and hanging around people who stress you out can all contribute to your stress levels rising through the roof. But, when you try to give up these harmful habits in order to help with your stress and anxiety, 
which ones are the best to replace them with. Often, replacing a habit with another habit can be a great way to help you quit the first one. For example, those who smoke may want to replace smoking cigarettes with vaping, which is less harmful but provides them with something to do instead of lighting up a cigarette. Others prefer to swap harmful habits for good habits which are drastically different. For example, someone who drinks too much alcohol may decide to start lifting weights to give them something else to do instead of having a drink. Exercise We've dedicated the whole video to exercise already, but it's so important that it needed to be mentioned again. Regular exercise is one of the best lifestyle habits that you can have when it comes to improving your mental health and making sure that your stress levels are under control. Taking part in activities such as walking, running, cycling, swimming, yoga, and even weightlifting or playing a team sport can boost physical fitness, improve strength, and increase self-esteem and confidence, all of which can help to improve stress and anxiety. Exercising itself releases feel-good chemicals in the brain, and has been clinically proven to reduce the symptoms of anxiety and depression. Meditation when it comes to combating stress, meditation is a great habit to take up and integrate into your lifestyle. For centuries, meditation has been used to help people deal with their stress and anxiety levels and feel calmer within themselves. Meditation helps you to find the positive energy inside of yourself and feel more connected and at peace with yourself and the world around you. Those who meditate regularly find that stressful situations no longer overwhelm them as much. They are calmer, more relaxed, and able to take on more and more. Whether you are a spiritual person or not, there is no doubt that mindfulness meditation can help you to feel more relaxed and in control. Even the act of taking the time to sit in quiet and collect your thoughts for a while can help to reduce stress, as meditation requires you to breathe deeply, which will oxygenate your brain and give you more energy to deal with your stress. Mindfulness mediation can be done at home or in a class. You can also use a range of essential oils or music to aid you. If you found the video is useful, like and share to support us.